Good evening, this is Tammy from Singles Travel International. And tonight I am hosting Travel Talk, festive river cruising with Avalon Waterways and Singles Travel International. We are pleased to uh, have as our guest tonight, Denise Frain from Avalon Waterways. She's a business development manager and an expert on river cruising. And I just want to say thank you, Denise, not only for being here tonight, you but for being, being, for being a partner with us, because one of our missions, I mean, the only mission that we have here at Singles Travel International is to get better rates for singles in their own space. And you guys have been very generous, not only this year, but for many, many years in, uh, in, the, in the past. And we appreciate that partnership. And so do our members. So without yeah. further ado, I'd love to, we'd love to hear your presentation tonight on our um, Wine Lovers River Cruise for Singles and then Festive uh, Rhyme. Festive, <laughs> yes, but um, Christmas Markets yep. for Singles yep. on the Rhine. And so it's all yours, Denise. Thanks for, for, for coming. Thank you, tonight. Tammy. Yes, and Tammy, I have to say, she is an advocate for you guys. As soon as we come out with next year's product, she's like, what do you got for me? So we try to find some dates and get you guys some waived singles. So Tammy, thank you also for your business and your support. Love you. So we are going to talk about active and discovery on the Moselle. Um, some of you may have been on Avalon in the past, maybe not an active in discovery. So we'll talk a little bit about onboard the ship, and then we'll talk about what is active in discovery. Um, so Avalon Waterways, we started this in 2004, so we now have 17 ships in Europe. And we'll talk about the differences with Avalon and why Avalon, just some of our key differences. Because, you know, now over the last 10 years, we're all hearing more about river cruising. And, you know, river cruising is like big ship cruising, right? We all have our little niches that makes us a little bit different. So this is the active in discovery on the Moselle. It's September 25th, 2022. I can't believe we're almost in April here. So the year's going pretty fast. This is an eight night river cruise from Luxembourg to Frankfurt. So this is actually a new itinerary for us. I'm doing this in July. So Tammy, let's get back together um, after I do this in the middle of July. Um, this is a brand new itinerary for us. Uh, we didn't have just the Moselle. You know, you have a lot of people that, you know, they do the Danube, they do the Rhine, and then they're like, all right, what, what river do I do now? So this is great if you've been on some others. If not, this is a great one to go on because all these towns are right, right along the river and just very quaint little towns. And we're gonna be there in September, which is the wine season. Wine so. theme, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about the Globus family and brands, Avalon Waterways is a part of Globus. We are family owned, started in 1928. Don't worry, that's not your riverboat there in the middle. Um, that was how we first got started. So we started doing, you know, boat rides um, across Lake Bugano. So you see the Swiss Alps in the background. Um, so our family, um, the Globus family, uh, they are Swiss and that is where our main Europe office is in Lugano, Switzerland. So they just kind of started doing um, boat rides across the lake and then they started doing overnight trips to Italy because Italy's right there and then just grew into what we are now with four different companies, with land tours, with river cruises and it's funny, whenever I do a presentation on a land tour, I'm like, don't worry, that's not the motor coach. They're on the left-hand side either, right? So, but it's just kind of cool to look at to see how we first got started. Um, and then these are the four brands. So today we're talking a little bit about Avalon. I know for those of you that are on now, um, if, if you guys just want to raise your hand, have you been on Avalon yet? No. All right. All right. Good. All right. And you guys are hearing all these river cruise companies. So it's nice to know what makes us a little bit different. So this is a lock. Um, I'm sure you guys have been on maybe even the Panama Canal and you've been on maybe other river cruises and the rivers, you could not go from river to river because they, they weren't navigable. So now because of all these locks, 
you can move from river to river and go down the whole river because of these locks. Um, it's amazing. You go in, they fill up with water, you either go down, you go up, and it's quite amazing. Um, it's funny, after the third lock, you're like, eh, eh, we're going through another lock, you know, but to see the engineering of this, you know, going the first time, I still don't get tired of it. I love to sit up there and watch us go through the lock pretty funny if you get up in the middle of the night and you open up your curtain and you see a wall, right? It's like, yeah, something's not quite right, but you're just going through a lock. So the reason that we have a picture of this is why we designed our cabin. Oh my gosh, Renee, guess what's coming across my screen? I am so sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, the joys of working from home these days, right? So so what makes us different are the cabins. So look at the right-hand side. So what we decided to do is, in back in 2011, we changed the design of our ships and our cabins. So what we did is we made the cabins larger. These cabins are 200 square feet, beds faced out. And, you know, some river cruise companies, they put balconies on their on their river boats and we're like you know it doesn't make sense because you don't have days at sea honestly you should be up on the top deck looking at the scenery on both sides but what you'll see is the wall behind the bed is on a little bit of an angle but what it does it opens up the cabin and it's 200 square feet of complete living space and we have waved singles for you guys you can take run of the ship it doesn't matter what cabin we just allow so many cabins for you guys to have as a way to single. You just can't take the Royal Suite, right? That's one that's 300 square feet. There's only two on board and they sell out so fast, but you guys can have any other cabin. Um, but the, they're, they're beautiful because the beds face out and you just watch the scenery go by. So the reason we show this lock is because some companies put balconies on and that you see these ships can only be so wide. So if you put a balcony on, it will come out of another area of the ship. So that's why we created the cabins and changed the ship around to look like that. So here's the bed facing out, so pretty cool. And this is from outside in, so 200 square feet, floor to ceiling, sliding glass door, um, 11 foot sliding glass door, seven feet of it open up. And I know, Tammy, when did you cruise with us? What month was it? I know it was just the oh, last, Last October, October I did um, the um, Provence, right? Right, exactly. And the, the guys, these are the cabins. It's it's unbelievable. It's like such. I wrote a blog about it. Twenty yep. reasons why you should love river cruising. So maybe I'll share that with you guys while Denise is talking. It's it's um all the river cruises are nice. Avalon Waterways to me is the best. These ships are so pretty. And they have yeah. thought of everything. That's what my blog was about. Like, I couldn't believe all the special touches. Every time I turned around, you had thought about something that I was going to need in the next. Oh, month. good. Oh, good. Including, yeah, I mean, hold on, including yeah. readers in the dining room. So in case I forgot my glasses to read the menu. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. And you know, like, Tam, I mean, it, you, know, you know, you would think this bed facing out might just be a little thing, but boy, when you walk in that cabin, you're like, oh my God, like, so smart. I remember when we first designed this, I went to a conference at an all-inclusive and the bed faced out. And I'm like, so makes sense, right? So they are really um, nice cabins. And what's nice is you, you do have the cabins on the bottom, so you guys could choose one of those cabins. Um, those are 172 square feet with a window. So those are your category D's and E's that are on the bottom and they have a big size window, but everything above that is just like this. Doesn't really matter where you are, um, which deck, they all look the same and they all look just like that. Um, so it just depends if you want a cabin that's 172 square feet with a window, or if you want the floor to ceiling slider, which is 200 square feet. Um, there is a refrigerator in the cabin. Um, it is a mini bar. It's not crazy like Las Vegas. If you just touch it, you get charged. Um, you know, I bought 
chocolate covered waffles and stored them in my refrigerator. So you can use the fridge, but it is a mini bar. Um, between the cabin, they, they, they buffer it. So you cannot hear the person next to you. Um, so it's nice. So it's, you don't hear anything. It is very quiet. So you won't hear your neighbors. Um, not that you're going to have kids on board, but it's just nice that it's very quiet. Um, you do have a flat screen TV, you know, it has a couple news channels. You're not going to really have much time, but there are movies on there that are free. Tons of movies. Um, and then again, your sliding glass door. The beds are a little bit higher. You can put a suitcase underneath. Um, I've traveled with Avalon with a roommate. If you do travel with a roommate, these beds separate and also the closets are huge. I still have not figured out how to pack, um, you know, lightly. And I just pack way too much stuff. And I've had roommates on here and we have had so much room to, um, you know, put in our closet. There's a lot of drawers. Um, I'm doing the same river cruise I mentioned in July and I'm traveling with one of my girlfriends. So plenty of room if you decide to take a roommate. Bathroom's huge. Again, if you do travel with a roommate, if not, if you're by yourself, you have plenty of room just to sprawl out with all your stuff. So marble countertop, there's a shelf there. Um, we do have L'Occitane products, but it's a little bit different. Tammy, you probably experienced this. And for those of you that maybe have been on Avalon in the past, we had the little samples. We're reducing plastic, so we don't have the samples. So if you want to bring home some L'Occitane, then bring little containers and fill it up with the big bottles that we have and take some home. Because Tammy, I, I used to take the little bottles and put it in for Christmas for stocking stuffers, you know, because it's like 50 euros a set, those little samples of L'Occitane. So, um, but that is one thing we are reducing paper, we are reducing plastic. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about that as we go through here. So Cruise Critic Awards, 18, 19, actually we just had some in 21 and 22. Um, so when you look at the cabin here, or look at the, sorry, not the cabin, but the lounge, you'll see there's one main bar and the lounge is big enough to fit all 166 people. There's a lot of room. It's very open. Like in the cabin, have you have the floor to ceiling sliding glass door. It is the same feeling throughout the whole ship. In the dining room, in the lounge, you have floor to ceiling windows. So no matter where you are on the ship, you see the river on both sides. Um, you'll see there to the left of the bar, there is a cappuccino maker. It's free. Cappuccino, lattes, hot milk for your hot chocolate. There's a second machine that's in the club lounge at the back of the ship. Um, Tammy, did you have any of the cappuccinos? It's, it's good stuff. It is oh, good yes. stuff. Loved oh. it. Coffee on oh. the end. I loved it. I loved it. So uh, just so you know, and I don't know, you know, probably by the time you guys go, hopefully this will be gone. But see on the bottom where the sofas meet. Uh, right now we do have plexiglass in between because of COVID. So for any sofas that meet up, we have plexiglass also um, at the front when you check in. And Tammy, you probably, because I haven't been on Avalon during COVID yet. I'm traveling, like I said, in, oh, I'm actually going in a couple of weeks. I'm doing the um, Balkan Discovery to Bucharest. So I'll get a better feel um, if a lot of this is removed. And if we do another presentation, I can update you after I travel. Okay. Um, also, and like I said, I'm doing the same one, so I can talk okay. about that after July. I'm um, Vicky's going to Cairo, and in one week from today, we have ten oh, people going right. to Egypt, so we'll get that's we'll get some right. sand from that. Too. Yeah, you know, and I think you know, and and who knows if the, you know, the ships are a little bit different with what they do with protocol. But like I said, hopefully, and things are being really a little bit more relaxed, you know, with testing. Like you don't have to test to go to some of these areas. So hopefully, by the time you guys go. Now, this will all be behind us you See, know? You know what denise i will add because i've been on yeah. five cruises now in covid yeah. avalon really was the only one that didn't require testing before we had to be vaccinated but we didn't require a test beforehand so that was kind of nice that was a nice um 
reduction right. in the process right. to prepare for a career. Right. And, you know, I'm, I'm traveling in um, two and a half weeks and I'm doing from Budapest to Bucharest and um, Hungary just dropped their requirements so we don't have to test. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk about the testing too um, when we get towards the end. This is Speaking the main of lab. Hungary, isn't this the um, parliament in, is. in Budapest right behind you? Yeah. It is. It is. It's funny. I was actually just talking to a friend of mine. And, um, I did the active and discovery on the Danube in 2019, and I was staying in Buda, which is on the other side. And we were staying, if you guys are familiar with it, it's the Hilton. And I think it's, if I'm remembering the story correctly, I think it's Zsa Zsa Gabor um, married a Hilton and she wanted a Hilton castle, a castle turned into a Hilton. So they bought the castle that's on the other side of the parliament here on the Buddha side and converted this castle into a Hilton. And I have to tell you, it's wonderful. And we stayed there for Avalon and it's quiet over there. And ah, it's like one of my most memorable experiences. And I sat in my room, waited until it got dark, until the lights went on in the parliament. And it was, it was amazing. Um, so this is your main bar, just so you know, for um, happy hour. We have two for one, an hour before dinner or an hour after dinner. Uh, we do have mimosas in the morning for breakfast. You have two for one, happy hour, and then you also have beer, wine, and refreshments included for lunch and for dinner. Um, if you want, we don't have drink packages either. Um, we find that when we did have it, people didn't really purchase it because, you know, they got enough with the happy hour and beer and wine for lunch and dinner. But just remember, like, if you want to buy something on land, when you're walking through town, you can bring it on board. It's not like a big ship cruise where we confiscate it. So you can always bring stuff on board if you want. You know, some people might buy a bottle of wine, go up to the top deck, hang out, maybe buy some cheese and some bread. So, you know, feel free to bring, bring alcohol on board. Um, this is the back lounge. It's the back part of the main lounge. We use this area for like the cruise director when he or she is talking about the next destination or a show, but we also use this area for lunch and dinner. So lunch, you have a buffet lunch, you can order from the menu, but also in the back here of the main lounge, we have a light lunch set up here. So if you don't wanna to go to the dining room and you just wanna grab a light lunch, it's really good and they have it set up back here. Same thing with dinner. If you don't wanna to go to dinner at seven and sit there for two hours, um, I mean, you don't have to sit there for two hours, but you know, you just wanna grab a light dinner, maybe you wanna go into town. This area is also set up for dinner and the food is fantastic. Here's the dining room. Uh, what's new is we have flex dining. So you can now come from seven to 8.30. So you don't have to get there at seven and sit there until nine. So you can come and go between seven and 8.30, which is really nice. Um, it's open seating. And again, you have all of those windows on both sides. So no matter where you sit on the ship, you can see the water on each side. Um, and Denise, a, I wanted to yeah. add though, when you're traveling with Singles Travel International, your concierge will set a time so that we're all together. Ah, of course, perfect. you have flexibility if you want if you're wanting to share your dinner with the rest of the group, we always go in in advance, we put up our signs and we reserve some window seats and we're there waiting for you so that you never Perfect. have to walk in and not, and, and, and not I, be able to find the group and we're together. So we're generally Perfect. together unless you want to go off and do something independently. Perfect. It's so funny. I have a picture from way back when I did a tulip time cruise I'm just looking at those glasses and I have this table with like literally 30 glasses in front of me because we call it you know the the endless wine right and Tammy you were on there they just keep on filling your glass so and it's all local wine which is nice um you can bring a bottle of wine to dinner but they'd rather you not just because we do have local wine um but it's wonderful wine it's not like from california it's, it's all of local wine where you're going um and when there we were, are when yep. we were on the france cruise that we did because we had gone to chateau neuf du pop as one of the tours and so we did yep. bring a bottle in and they were 
they were fine with it. Oh, they're, good. They're, they're yeah. very open. Yeah. Yes. So, they are. Yeah. They're easy. You know, they're easy going. And just so you know, if you do have any food allergies, what they do in the beginning of the cruise is they say, hey, if anybody has any food restrictions, we would like to meet with you. So they gather everybody, you tell them what your food allergy is, and, and, and they will they will stalk you for the cruise and make sure you're okay. Because I was on there with somebody that was gluten-free. And it, it was funny. He would be in line at the buffet getting something. And they're like, oh, here's some gluten-free crackers. Here's some gluten-free cookies. Um, somebody was allergic to nuts. So they actually take your picture so they know what your food allergies and they will make sure that they have it down. So, um, so don't worry about any of that. We have sugar-free items. We have gluten-free items. You know, if you're, if you're celiac, so don't worry about that. They will take care of you. Um, also, one thing about Avalon is that low passenger count. So the most that we'll have on board is 166 passengers. Um, right now, we're not running full. Uh, we actually just started um, last week. Um, like my sailing, I think that I'm traveling on in two and a half weeks. I think we're about 75, 80% full, which is good. Um, so, but if it's, if it is full, it's 166 passengers. And that is actually really good compared to some other companies that have 190. Um, we have an adventure host that's on board every ship. So we will have an adventure host that's on board. They'll do yoga, early morning walks, if you wanna go on an early morning run. And that adventure host will also go on these active excursions, which we'll talk about. Just, and also the food, you know, to the local connection, when we're docked, you know, they go to the local markets too. So everything is fresh. Also, you're in a little bubble on this river cruise. You don't have to wait in any lines. We book everything ahead of time. And what's nice about these tours is that, you know, these towns are built all along the rivers. The ship pulls up, you get off, and your group will be with one group. And unless you want to do some other you know, activities because you have all these different choices. But it's nice because you can make all of these different choices and it's all included in the price. And you come down, you grab your headset, the guide has something like what I have on, you have a little butt in your ear so you can hear your guide, you go on the walking tours, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. Like I said, the towns are right there, so you just roll off the ship and everybody's right there and they divide everybody up and do these tours. And Denise, I'm just putting in the, the Singles Travel International Extra Touch. Your concierge will already pre-arrange um, with the cruise director and the local guide so that our group is always together. We'll always be with the same guide or on the same bus if there, there are multiple buses for the same tour. We take care of all that. So all you have to do is show up and we nice. hand for your headset and we're all together. Perfect, perfect. Um, what's also nice, I mentioned before with the meals, uh, we do have an early riser breakfast, uh, which is just like a continental, if you want room service, we'll have continental breakfast, early riser breakfast, which is just kind of a continental breakfast, and then we have the full breakfast buffet, um, lunch, and it is a buffet, we changed that many, many months ago and went back to the buffet, um, lunch is you can either order from the menu or the buffet or in that lounge area in the back area, like on the bottom left, we have that area for lunch. Same thing for dinner, to sit down dinner. Food is fantastic. Um, if you don't want anything that's on the menu, you could always say, ah, I want chicken. So you always have your standalone steak, salmon, chicken. If you want a burger every night, they'll make you a burger every night, right? Uh, top right-hand corner, that's if we're docked, it's lunchtime, Weather's great, we have a little bistro outside. We do have bikes on board. We have 12 bikes on board, two e-bikes. So you'll be fighting everybody for the e-bikes, right? So you can, those are scary. I don't, have you guys ever ridden an e-bike? My neighbor has one, those go very fast. Um, so I would just, I would go for, if you haven't, if you haven't ridden an e-bike, I would just stick with a regular bicycle, right? Because they go pretty fast. Um, so you can take a bike ride, you can take lunch. 
Um, if you want to take a bike ride and go to the next port, you can do that. The adventure host will help you with that. Um, so sign out a bike and you can, you can go. Like I have seven of my girlfriends going with me um, on this trip that I'm leaving on in a couple of weeks. And I have one girl that just goes rogue. So she's like, you don't mind if I grab the bike and just go to the next town, right? I'm like, no, no, we'll just see you for dinner, right? So I mentioned um, from view to table. So, you know, we stop at all these markets and all the food is fresh. Um, we actually have these two chefs that changed our menus many years ago. Um, they have a vegan restaurant in Vienna. So we have, it's called Avalon Fresh. So if you are vegan, you want to eat a little bit healthy, we do have those items on the menu. We already talked about the beer, the wine. Here you go. Here's your bike tour. So let's talk about this cruise, Active and Discovery. So what makes this a little bit different? Um, what you'll see, and I'll show you the map again of where we're going, they're unique port cities. We do have more time in each port because we have some of these active excursions. You have less distance between ports. What I love is you have more day sailing. So I did the active and discovery on the Danube a couple times now, and I have never had days on a river cruise where I've just sat and read a book and cruised half the day. You can do that on this because what we do is we drop people off as you go along down the river. So if you just want to chill and you just want to cruise a little bit and look at the scenery, you can do that. So it has more day sailing because what some of the river cruises do is they sail at night, right, to get to your next destination. But because there's not a lot of distance between some of these ports, that's why we have some more day sailing. So because of these different ports and cruising more during the day, you're not going to have this overcrowding, which is nice. And you'll see we have a lot of excursions. It's not just some river cruise companies give you one excursion and then everything else is an additional cost. So we're gonna look at all of these different excursions that you have to pick from. Also, a couple weeks before you go, you'll get an email that says, download your app. You go on your phone, download the Avalon Go app, you put in your reservation number, your name, and up pops your documents. Your full documents, your air, anything you need to know at all of these towns, things to do, places to go, restaurants to eat at, the weather, if your flight's delayed. So it is a wonderful app. You can keep a journal um, day by day. You take a picture, it goes into a journal, expense calculator, currency exchange, a GPS. So it is a wonderful app. All right, so here is the active and discovery on the Moselle. And you're going end of September. So you may catch some fall foliage, which is nice. I know I traveled in October on a river cruise. I did see a lot of fall foliage. Um, this here is the itinerary. You'll see it's eight nights. And what's nice, again, like we mentioned before, all of these towns are all along the river. So the ship docks, you get off, and the town is right there, and you take your walking tour. We do have complimentary Wi-Fi on the ship. So let's look at some of the itinerary. So day one in Luxembourg. So you have all of these different excursions. You can take a canoe ride. That's one of the excursions. You can do just a classic tour of Luxembourg. And that is Luxembourg. Like, oh, it's so cute, so quaint. I know I am ready to go on my river cruise. So again, you have all of these different excursions and they're labeled. So when you book your trip, you'll see the day-to-day -day itinerary and all of these different excursions. And they're all labeled either active, classic, or discovery. Active is active. Discovery could be like a museum that's an off the beaten path museum or painting, um, local winery, um, on one of these, one of the discoveries is a mustard mill. So 
Classic is just a regular walking tour, which would be like this Luxembourg city tour. So then you move on to Trier. Trier is Germany's oldest city, and this dates back to 144 to 152 AD. Um, so you go to Trier, that is in Germany. One of the excursions you can pick is it's just a walking tour here. Oh, sorry in Trier, or the Discovery is a local winery, or you can hike, and this is where you go to the top of a castle. You know, Denise, I think one of the things that was so fascinating for me was that I had gourmet food, I had wine, and then I had this ancient architecture around me. I was just fascinated yep. by the antiquity of the cities that we were going to, and they were small. Uh, yeah. There were small um, little towns, so everybody's so friendly. I know, right? I mean, just look at this town. It's like so cute, you know, and it's nice because the towns are right there, you know, and they're not overcrowded. Um, I know, you know, some people go like, oh, there's so many river cruises and it's so crowded. It's not. Um, and what is nice about especially this one, because this is a new itinerary, not a lot of ships are doing just the Moselle. Um, so this is the active excursion here, which is walking up to this castle. So again, it's three different types of excursion. So active, discovery, and classic. This is the discovery, which takes you into a local winery. And then the classic one is the walking tour. I always like these homes with the wood. Oh, so beautiful. And these are, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I couldn't think of the word. Thank you, Tammy. You know, and it, it is amazing how old these towns are and how they, they keep it. You know, like I think about the town that my mom lives in. I'm, I'm over on the west side of Florida and um, she lives in downtown Newport Ritchie and there's an old hotel that they were just gonna tear it down, you know? And, and they don't do that in Europe. They, they keep it, they renovate it. So finally, the historical society kept it and they're renovating it to look like it was back in the day. Um, but usually here, you know, they just, they just tear stuff down. Um, here's day four, um, this is in Kokum. So what's nice, and look at these squares. I love the squares with the cafes and, ah, uh, I just, I can't wait to go on my trip. This is one of the excursions. It's a bike ride in Kokum, and the adventure host goes with you. Um, you take a tour, and then the classic one is just a walking tour. And this is what I was talking about for Discovery. This is the oldest mustard mill. So that is one of the excursions, and you do mustard tasting. I thought there's all these different kinds of mustard, right? It's a pretzel. Ah. Oh. Oh, you're making me hungry, right? How could you eat a pretzel without mustard, right? Right. <laughs> so then Koblenz. Um, Koblenz, I love Koblenz. I was there on one of my river cruises, I think, when I did the Rhine. Again, three different types of excursions. One is a hike. One is a local brewery. And then you have a classic walking tour of Koblenz. So, you know, it's nice because we are very old school. So you get on the ship. Let's say one day you sign up for the walking tour, but the weather's going to be really nice. You know, maybe I'll do the bike tour. You just cross your name off and you put it on the list and you sign up for the bike tour. So it's very fluid like that. So we are easy peasy um, and you can just move it to something else. Uh, Rudesheim. So Rudesheim, they have the best wine in Rudesheim. This would be a great place to buy some wine, bring it on board. Um, we have three different types of excursions also in Rudesheim. This is the cable car ride. It's actually beautiful. I did this um, and you're above all these vineyards and you see the river down below. And this is pretty interesting. I remember I did this and at first I was like, eh, you know what, I don't know if I'd like this. It is a mechanical music museum. So you know how they read the sheets and, and it plays the music? These are 
so old and they all still play the music and they take you through and show you all of these instruments and how they play the music. And it's, it's a pretty cool place and how they keep these machines well oiled and running. So that's one of the excursions. And then also another one, which would be the, um, the discovery is going into the Abbey. Um, so again, you know, you have all of these different choices, which is nice. And then day seven is Frankfurt. So you can either do a bike ride. Um, it's funny, one of the excursions is a apple orchard um, that you go through. And it's funny because I did this on the river cruise in 2019. And it was actually pretty interesting um, walking through the orchards. So in Frankfurt, you can either do a bike ride, walk through the orchards or classic, which includes the castle. And then you can also do pre-nights and post-nights if you want, if you want a pre-night in Luxembourg, if you want to stay some extra time in Frankfurt. Um, are you guys doing anything for, um, for, for um, Beer Fest? Yes, and in fact, well, Beer Fest is not happening at the time we're going. It's more of the wine festival time. And yeah. with Singles Travel International on all of our international cruises, we always include the pre-night stay yep. in the Perfect. city that we board the, the uh, vessel. So that's already included for us. We're going to have a night in Luxembourg. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if, I can't remember when Beer Fest ends. Because I know it's in September. I always thought Oktoberfest was kind of odd that it's always in September, right? <laughs> right. Confusing. Uh, I know, right? Uh, so that's the Active and Discovery on the Moselle. And again, Active and Discovery, they're fun, a little bit more active, but don't think that you need to do any of the active because you have all of these other excursions to take. Um, if you do book within, oh, Tammy, I don't know if you want to save that until the end. Well, we can. We're just going to be giving some promotions for members who make their booking on either this cruise. Denise is still going to talk about the festive um, Christmas cruise on the Rhine. So we're going to do a promotion. We'll talk about that at the end. Okay. All right. Let me, I am going to pause here a second. If you want to talk a bit, Tammy, and then I am going to um, go to the other presentation. So okay, then here. I will just get a couple of highlights with us. So one of the things that uh, we talked about earlier is that when, because of our partnership with Avalon Waterways, we're, be, we're able to give deep discounts to our premium members. So when you're a premium member with Singles Travel International, uh, you pay no more for your own cabin than you would if it was a shared cabin. So Years ago, we used to have the majority of our members would share. That was the best way to save on accommodations. But nowadays, because we have been pecking away at our cruise partners for almost 30 years, we finally got some concessions in the last five or six years or so. So we're now sharing those with our premium members. And, uh, and, and those will be listed on the website right alongside the regular prices. So other benefits is that you have that extra night before. And then on all of our international programs, we have what we call a signature experience. So once Denise um, finishes with the festive uh, Christmas uh, cruise on the Rhine, we'll uh, talk about some of those signature experiences that are usually very special. When we were on the cruise in France, for example, we had a five course dinner with wine at the three star Michelin restaurant called Paul Bocuse. Paul Bocuse is the chef of chefs. Unfortunately, he passed away last year, but anybody that you know who's a chef, if you ask them if they know about Paul Bocuse, they'll probably go down on their knees because he was highly revered. He was the father of Nouvelle Cuisine. So we had that included in our package with Singles Travel International, and uh, we got a very special concession from the captain aboard our vessel, who was the captain for Avalon. 
We were not able to get a reservation on the time. And I didn't tell you this story, Denise, but <laughs> we, the public was so booked up, but I was committed. I mean, we promised to get this dinner. So I said to the cruise director, all right, we can't get it on Saturday night. We can't get it on Sunday for lunch. We can't get it Saturday for lunch. I see that we're leaving at six o'clock on Sunday night. What if you hold the ship for us so we can go to Pablo Coos? And he said, well, let me just ask the captain. And he came back to me within an hour and he said, okay, here's the plan. We have to drop the musicians off at 1015 at this stop, which is about 20 minutes up river. So we have to make sure that we're exactly on time because we have appointments with the locks that you talked about, Denise. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, we'll do it. So the captain booked us a car. He was standing outside the car waiting for our group to get <laughs> in. We got in our car, we went to Paul Bocuse, we had our five courses and at, at about 9.20, I looked at the maitre d' and I said, we've got to go. So the only thing we missed was coffee. I paid the bill in 10 minutes. We got in our van to take us back to the ship i felt like cinderella we were going to turn into a pumpkin nice yeah it. ship is leaving <laughs> at 10 16 and i thought oh my gosh where the captain was smiling but the thing is he was french he got it you know this was like right. an ultimate culinary experience and so this was a very special this was the signature experience this is something that over the top that only you get with singles travel international and then of course having such a wonderful partnership with avalon waterways and the relaxed and and kind of service oriented attitude that they had on board was just amazing so we were able to pull it off and i want to nice. now i can tell you thank you so that, that is, is awesome. our signature experience. And so it's always going to be something that you're not going to get from any other tour company. Nice. And you know what's nice, too? I think, you know, with this break that we've had, I think now like Avalon and Globus and I mean, they're just so happy to be back, you know, and, and they're like, whatever, we'll do whatever you want. Right. We're just so glad you're here. You're cruising with us right that's awesome Tammy that's, that's great. great yeah how was the food awesome uh at the it. restaurant yeah <laughs> I'll take yeah. up too much time it was ah. the cheese tray was like a cheese store there were 59 cheeses they gave us an amuse bouche nice. an appetizer the pre-app the post-app a pre-dessert dessert the dessert tray oh. I mean it was it was over the top yeah oh nice all right so we have the Christmas markets can you see my screen no, we still see the airplane, Denise. Want to really? On? Yes. Oh, I did a new share. How about now? Yes, now we see um, Amsterdam or Zurich to Amsterdam. Perfect. Okay, so we have the Christmas markets, which goes from Zurich to Amsterdam. So it's so your green is where you start, red is where you end. So if, like Tammy said, two extra nights. These are the Christmas markets. So I actually did this one several years ago and you'll see it has some of the same stops because you're doing a little bit of the Moselle. You do Koblenz, you do Mainz, you do Rudesheim, which we just talked about, but Heidelberg is different. Um, Heidelberg is the, they have the largest wine vat, um, the Black Forest, you go to France, Strasbourg, the Christmas markets are gorgeous and the decorations are gorgeous so you have all of these excursions like we talked about this one is not active in discovery so you're not going to have as much active because it's not summer either so you're not going to have bike rides they will have a little bit of active in there but for the most part it's mostly the classic walking tours or discovery like in cologne it's either a walking tour or a perfume factory. Um, Strasbourg, I was there on this trip. And again, the, the, just the, the, the decorations for Christmas. And in each of these towns are Christmas markets. So when you do this too, you have to think about what's more important. Do you want to see more of the markets? or more of the walking tours, because there's a balance, because there's so much to do, right? But a lot of the time you're here overnight, 
and you can go into these markets and spend a lot of time. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. Same type of ship, same style. All of our ships are the same. So what we were just looking at is the same for the Tranquility 2, which is on here. So all of these choices, same with the meals. I'm going to pause it a second and see if I can find some Christmas market photos for you. So let me just pause this a second here for you and see if we can find some. And Denise, while you're looking, I do yeah. have a question about one of the, so because we were in a pause because of the pandemic, all of us in the travel business were judiciously making decisions about what to do and what not to do. We, we got to the point where we were holding back on designing and, and, and operating because so many things were canceling. So I was wondering now that we're getting back on track and things are looking like they're opening up, um, when, could we, when could we expect that the excursions are announced or available for view on the itineraries these days? Uh, you mean with all the different, because all of the ones that are included are out there. So are you talking about like the optional excursions? Right. So, okay. So you're saying that most of the, the included excursions, which there's a, there is one excursion every day that's always included. Um, they're already on the website under excursions. Yep. Yep. They okay. are. They're already so on there. The optional excursions then are those in some somewhat in the works still at this point? No, they should be on there. Um, all of the optional excursions should be on there. Um, you can't book those until closer in about you know, 60 days prior, but all the optionals should be listed. Okay, great. So we, yeah. they, can, um, they can log into the Avalon app and make their reservations for those optional excursions in advance or do them once on board based on availability, right? Yeah, um, you know, you'll get an email that says time to book your optional excursion. And that's usually about 60 days out. And at that point, you can start booking them or like Tammy said, just wait till you get on board. Um, that's what I do. I just wait till I get on board. But if there's something, um, especially the active and discovery on the Moselle, um, if there's an optional bike ride, because most of the ones we talked about are all included, but if there's an optional bike ride with a cost and you really want to do that, then I would sign up for that early because they do pull up with a truck with like 50 bikes. Um, but there's 160 people on board, right? So that's where they can run out of bicycles. Um, so something like that, I would pre-book, but for the others, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too concerned, right. um, for all of the different options that are included, you can actually pre-book that. But again, I wouldn't even worry about it. Um, when you get there, you can just sign up on the fly okay. and I, we don't have any pictures on ours. So I just put, um, some, this is the Rhine. Um, so these are just some of the Christmas decorations that you'll see there. Um, these are the Christmas markets. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is Strasbourg, which will be. Um, it was the most beautiful. So it's. I think Strasbourg is market. one of the most picturesque. I mean, by the way, I'm looking at your presentation tonight and I'm thinking everything is Instagramable. I know. <laughs> and I'm sorry to be showing this, but I, uh, we don't That's have okay. any on our site. Yeah. That's we okay. don't have any. This is yeah. even the other one on the Moselle is um, it's all, it's like you have an Instagram moment every, every day, every minute. Um, it's, it's so, so pretty. It really is. I mean, it's, here's, um, and everybody drinks warm wine. What do they call the warm wine? The glue vine. The glue vine. Glue vine, right. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I um, I did this Christmas markets on the Rhine back uh, it was six years ago. And I'm a Floridian like Tammy, right? And I am a baby. Like, I'm a baby when it comes to cold weather. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to be freaking out. Because I've heard some people say, it is the coldest they've ever been on a Christmas market cruise. But I have to tell you, I, it was the year where it was very mild, like in the Northeast here in the state. And it was mild over there. I had just a sweater. 
I'm drinking the glue vine and I'm getting hot. I mean, it was so mild. So you never know with the weather. Um, I've talked to people where it's been snowing and they wanted it that way, right? Because it gives you the true Christmas feeling. Um, I was happy to have the mild warm weather because I'm just a big old baby. Um, but it's, it's just absolutely um, charming. It's beautiful. I mean, they go all out for these Christmas markets. So it's, it's a great trip. It really is. And I did this one and it's one of my most memorable trips. So if anybody has any questions, and I know this is being recorded. So later, if you have any questions, just reach out to Tammy. She'll reach out to me. If, but Tammy knows all the answers, right? Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do right now, Denise, I'll take the screen from you very quickly. And then yep. um, I'm going to show our viewers here how to find the trips on our site. So you're going to come to all trips. I'm actually on one already. But I wanted to point out that we have a new uh, a new menu. So all of our styles of vacations are now in a drop down and we have a new one called calendar and that takes you to a blog page that used to be pretty hard to find on the site, but that's all of our upcoming vacations. And so that way, if you want to know what's coming up that's not actually on the site yet for planning purposes, you just click on that calendar button there, which is um, on my screen, and that'll take you to the blog. But what I'm going to do right now is click on cruises. And then over here under trip activities, I'm able to choose Avalon, Avalon Waterway. So if I click that and click find trips, then you, you'll see all of our Avalon Waterway cruises. So we have two more coming up for next year. We're going to do in India and the Mekong with Cambodia and, uh, and um, Vietnam. So stay tuned for that. But these were the two that we talked about tonight. And so if you click on the learn more button, you're of course going to see our itinerary, frequently asked questions. Um, you can see the who's going section. So you always know who's already signed up for the trip. And if you click on book now, you'll get to see the prices. So I'm going to um, show you uh, just a, a sample here of what we're talking about when you get a premium price, for example, on um, all every single category, as Denise said, you're getting a lower price. So you're saving really thousands of dollars on our river cruises. And um, the best one is, of course, on that, we call it the Panorama Suite which is on Royal Deck. That's the cabins that Denise was showing you tonight in the presentation with that floor to ceiling windows. That can also be available to you um, on Sapphire Deck. So it's only one deck lower. It's just the lowest category here that has these windows at the top, which is the lowest one. So sharing would be 3,900 and your own cabin is just about 5,000. That's including everything guys. So. That's going to be your uh, cruise, your pre-night stay, your drinks, right? She talked about wine and beer with lunch and dinner, and then also in one excursion every day. And by the way, here's another benefit with Singles Travel International, our gratuities are also included. So if you want to know what's included, it's all listed on the highlight section. So we've got a free night stay in Luxembourg, Premium members save up to 2120 on their own space. And then here is what we are including. So the truth of the matter for me is by the time you add up all these extras, when you go on a big ship, which we love to, and you have to pay for your drinks, pay for your excursions, pay for your gratuities, at the end of the day, for many of us, it's going to be a very similar price. And sometimes you're hesitating to do things because you're adding up all the dollars. So the river cruise is truly all inclusive. And then we add the extra night and we have our signature experience. So um, this is, this is a, a great opportunity. Um, and how many people have been to Luxembourg, right? That's on my bucket list. I yeah. haven't done that yet. So I'm looking hey, forward Tammy, to Can you go back up a quick second? I'm sorry to sure. interrupt you. Yeah. I forgot to mention um, up, up, oh, there, um, the testing. So, you know, hopefully by the time you go, we won't have to do this. However, um, 
it, you know, the, it, the free return COVID test, so we test you prior to coming home and it's free. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And so um, thanks, Denise. No, I'm, I'm happy yep. to, to share that with everybody. So I just wanted to, at this point, I'm going to say thanks for watching to all of our YouTubers. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And for the rest of you who are here, let's hang out because we're going to give away some prizes and take your questions. Thank you for joining.